you are already taking pictures. Hi, this is Edwin McMillan from Team Meat. This is Tommy Refinus from Team Meat. It's a year, it's been a year since that Meat Boy game came out. One year. <laughs> Lots happened in a year. What, what do you, like what? We, what, what has happened? We went from poor hobos to slightly rich hobos. Yeah, the hobo didn't change though. No, no. Well, at least, well, are you, you're still living in your, in your storage? I have, I, yeah. You've got really <laughs> Quite literally, I'm, I'm in a storage. You've got, um, so a year has passed and we've grown into arrogant, jaded fools. Yeah. And, uh, we're doing commentary for this video, but we didn't, we're not taking any credit for any of the gameplay in it, other than making it. Yeah, we made we take, the game. We take credit for that a bit, but um, the video is by Man vs. Game, and I feel bad for not really knowing what the guy's name is. Lucius. You think? No. Lucius. We'll call him Lucius. I call him Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> I call him Lucius because I can't pronounce C's. We're going to do commentary over him playing uh, The Light World from start to finish. Hmm. I hope you enjoy the commentary as much as we enjoyed laying down on the ground with a blanket over our heads yeah and uh with dots on our chins and you have a hat yeah i have a little hat so and my nose keeps itching <laughs> so let's cut let's cut to the let's do the commentary now we're gonna do the commentary yeah. commentary go and here we are hello who are you tommy uh i am tommy I I program this game. I'm Edmund. I did the art for this game. I helped. I helped with design. I helped with design too, and art. I did all the art. <laughs> I did all the art. I did all. The, I did most of the programming. Yeah. But all the art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're already talking over like there's some stuff that happened. Yeah. That we this, could have been talking about. This is the intro. Yeah. I was gonna say something about the little our little logo, oh. because it's funny that. Um, that little character that looks like Meat Boy by, by the team meat. Yeah. Do you remember when I made that? Yeah. Well. I made it in like fucking two seconds. Like, whoosh, like scribbled it down. Oh, yeah. And it was just like, oh, it looks like shit. And that's exactly what we need for the logo. Yeah. And that was, and then, and that was it. And that was good. So, <laughs> so what, what were you trying to accomplish during that intro? The intro that just passed already. Yeah. The, pretend talk. it's in the, in the, in the, Presence. I was trying. Well, okay, because Dr. Fetus is the traditional villain. Yeah. So I was trying to do this like classic black and white take on it, like this is you know who's bad and this is who's good. Like on paper, the like original idea was even quicker than that. It was like, Me Boy's good, Dr. Yeah. Fetus is bad. Yeah. Boom! The world explodes. <laughs> like, like, look, we're fucking talking over all it's this. Fine. It's fine. It's, it's we're not. It's fine. Um, that's the intro. Um, and, uh, that is totally ours. We didn't, that wasn't a reference to anything. No. I was one of the first programmers of Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is the game. This is the game. Look at that. Look, it's telling you. You, you tap jump, you get a little, little jump. You press jump, you get higher. And, uh... Originally, it was going to be three different buttons for each... <laughs> For each type of jump. It was like the Sega controller. Yeah, yeah. It was going to be... Gonna, we're going to utilize be, the Sega. A was a little jump, B was slightly bigger, <laughs> and then L and R together were the big jump. It, it made sense. It made sense to do it that way. <laughs> I don't know why we did it this way. This and, seems... and then if you had Connect... <laughs> yeah. You hook up the Sega, Sega Genesis controller to... I cheated. Uh, yeah, no, I totally cheated. Uh, to, the, to your Connect, um, you feel ripped off. Yeah. There's a gap. Do we remember if this guy dies at all? I think he dies at the end. Okay. Pretty sure, pretty sure he dies at the very last level. Okay, because we... We should say this is, um, so-and-so for this Man is, versus Game. Yeah, this is, uh, Fondlem. This is Bill for... This is... <laughs> his name is... For, Phil, um, Phil for Hanson. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> <laughs> do, you see the, do you see the little, the little squirrel went, like, did, like, a little backwards... Moonwalk slide yeah. off and it just fell. <laughs> that was pretty nice. So this is the forest. Yeah. And, uh, and we we made we made all the levels and designed the game 
from the ground up. <laughs> from the ground up. Uh, from, from start to finish. So um, it was fun to, like, the actual progression of the game. That's a that's a penis. That is a penis, if anybody, if anybody wants to go and tell ASRB. Yeah, that is um, the penis we snuck. <laughs> we snuck a penis. There, there are multiple penises in the game. That was one of them, and uh, that's that's something that you write your your local ESRB about. Yeah, us, write you, your get local. Us, get us sued. Yeah, try it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a whole team of lawyers that I pretend to be. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. I've never seen anybody do that. Yeah, he's well. He's, he's got some skills. This, this, this guy, this guy has some game. This guy's claim to fame is cheats. Is online cheats. It's true. He missed that warp zone. He did. That was the that was the warp zone to Commander Video, who was the very first unlockable character. I remember time. when you did the cutscene for that. Yeah. I watched it like nine hundred times in a row. Do you remember how? Shitty his trail was when it was just pixelated. Yeah, when it was just awful, uh, just drawn. Yeah, he yeah. used to have a pixelated trail that was fucking awful. Yeah. My, my best work. And then we made it into a beautiful rainbow. A little, a little ribbon. A little, little gay ribbon. Gay gay rainbow ribbon. Yeah, in case anybody, we're not trying to hide the fact that the video is homosexual. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it's a good thing because there needs to be more. Yeah, there needs to be an awesome gay hero, especially black ones. Yeah, there needs a to be black more gay hero. One-eyed black gay heroes in games. Hey, Jesus, fuck that what up! What the fuck? Come on! What is this level fucking four? Yeah, God, what's, oh, why did we use this, this guy? This is horrible. That's this guy is horrible. This was one of the first levels we made, or yeah. you made. Yeah, this is this was the definitive level. This yeah. was the oh shit level. Like, oh, this wait was a the last level, or the second to last level, the last level of the the London demo, the first public appearance, uh, got cut. But that that level was one of the last levels, and that was the one that everybody would die on, and they would watch the replays. And that was the one where Capcom said Konami. Sure. Oh, Konami yeah. said they were going to rip us off, and I said, "You better hurry. You better hurry, filthy." <laughs> Look at that. Oh, unlock the boss all the way through. It's a little slugger time. First boss we made. This is, um, oh, here's the cutscene. We'll probably talk about that. Yeah. This was the second cutscene. Third cutscene, I probably get into Yeah, I think it was the third. This is when I had fully, finally fully rendered. Like, I don't know if people noticed, but the models, I guess you call them models, whatever, the rigging, the, the puppetry, these are in pieces if you, if you don't notice. I didn't draw this fucking frame by frame. This is, I cheated. I made pieces. Of, of Meat Boy, arms, legs, body, eyes, and I just move them around like a puppet because I'm a shitty animator. It's good. I'm, and, uh, I'm, the, I'm a shitty programmer. <laughs> but in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning of the game, in the intro, um, those aren't at all the same. Uh, those were I had to, I redid them completely, and they actually looked a little different um, because I hadn't finalized exactly the look that we wanted to do for the mm. for the cutscenes. Yeah. I remember the first Street Fighter intro was all... Yep, it was drawn. Yeah, it was all hand-drawn and stuff. That would have been a mistake, because that would have taken another fucking year to, to animate. Well, that, that went by fast, but that, that boss battle wasn't... Uh, we changed this boss battle, like, three times. That, yeah, that was... Yeah, that was maybe the third or fourth. Yeah, because originally you would go up and you would... You would uh, alert, get the squirrels. You would alert the squirrels. And they would, they would fall down and... <laughs> It would always break it would because, like, break. one one little squirrel would go off screen, yeah. or somehow get killed, and yeah. it wouldn't take enough damage. And here's the intro. Oh, funny story. Funny Out story. Outro. Outro. Yeah. Um, funny story about this one. Um, we got some feedback from some Microsoft people. Um, the people that do what were they called? Game, game, I don't know testers. I don't know what the fuck. No, they, they were they were called Focus uh, Group. No, they had a fucking name. I don't know. Anyway, this there was all feedback. Well, it was pretty good feedback. There was one guy's feedback was that he didn't think our humor was funny. Yeah. He thought he thought that that cutscene was mean. Um, which you know, fine, whatever. It, it's mean in a way. Um, it, it's not when you find out later that he didn't really die. Yeah. And then he dies again. <laughs> but um, uh, his suggestion was to make it better, to make it more funny. Um, instead of getting his head knocked off. He should grab another head of a squirrel and eat it. Yeah, that guy uh, is a writer <laughs> for Murphy Brown. <laughs> He's doing the sequel, Murphy Brown Two. Murphy Murphy Browner. He keeps pitch, he keeps repitching it. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, I don't know. But I'm they're like, do you it. even? Are you even talking to Candace Bergen? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that guy's awesome. Yeah. And I also think that we publicly kind of mentioned this before, and then our producer said, don't do that. <laughs> he, he listens to this stuff, and his feelings are going to get hurt. <laughs> well, he should have said stupid shit. <laughs> Uh, and if you're that guy, don't have, don't. Yeah, you know, no, no. You, burn, it, burn, as, as burn in hell. As burn in hell. Burn in hell. As much as you can criticize us, we can totally criticize you. Yeah, come on. This is this is all in good. We're all know. adults here, you except dirty for us. Bastard. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's running through this shit like crazy. Yeah, he's blazing through. So he's already in. We're in the fucking haunted hospital at this point. Yeah. Uh, which is very haunted. Yeah, because hospitals are just awful. They're awful places. They smell like death. Yeah. There's old they charge you a shitload of money for like nothing. Yep. Oh, uh, this is a this is I one of the standout fun. levels. This is a good level. Sabbath. Yeah. Warp zone up there. Yep. Missed the warp zone. I guess he's not gonna get any of the warp zone. I don't zones. think he gets any of the warp zone. But that's okay. Leave that for uh, commentary of the two year anniversary. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Well, yeah. We, we probably already we, we said this was the beginning when we were. Oh yeah. This, yeah. We, this is a. Year well, if we didn't, we're saying it now. Yeah. In case you in case you missed our intro, um, this is the what the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Hmm. Uh, this is the one year anniversary celebration. This is this is called. Uh, Developer commentary. Yeah, this is well, anniversary commentary by the Meat Team. Yeah, Meat Team. Um, I remember when I made the little key blocks because they were just all gonna go off. Yeah, they went off like instantly. Yeah, and then I'm like, it would be neat if they just went. He died. Yeah. yeah. Watch out for the saws. Warp zone. Warp zone in the middle, folks. Yeah. There's a key right there. See, see it? it? See it? See it fall? You're supposed to get that. Get that key. Opens up the little fucking lockbox. And you get to go to Sparky's level? Sparky's warp zone? Sparky? Yeah, I think he did that... the... Yeah. He did that one. Is that Fly Ranch? No, that's not Fly Ranch. No. Um, Sparky did... Um, uh, Star Starter. Yeah, no, but what is the, the character there? Isn't no, that, no. Isn't that a character warp? Wait, was it? No, no. Wait, what? We, 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 we it mixed those around. Fly Ranch. It Iron used Man. to be Fly Wrench, but I actually think it's a normal warp zone now. Yeah. Because Fly Wrench is not is one of the later characters now. Yeah. Which, he's, which he's... which we can reveal at this point. Yeah, we can tell. Because I think that was the Jill. Right? Oh he yeah, it by. is. It is Jill. Jill is unlocked in this chapter. Originally, Jill was unlocked in Hell. Yeah. And, um, but we wanted to balance the characters a bit better, so the the way the characters unlock are um, usually the more helpful characters for beginners unlock early. So Commander Video and Jill, um, Commander Video has the best control. Um, Horizontally, and uh, Jill has the best control vertically falling, mm. and there's a few others, and that's kind of how we balance the um, the more overpowered characters that are harder to control happen later. And Fly Wrench is definitely one of those. OP. He's a bit OP. Um, mm -hmm. He's not. He's the Zangi. Yeah, he, he he is the Zangi for uh, oh, boy. What is that? Why? Do you... I don't know what that. That must be like a recording thing. Huh. Whatever. It's done, it. This was uh, this is the structural level, yeah. which is. Which, strangely, it's not even named after the website. It's named after some other thing. Yeah. Something else, completely. It's named, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's named after Destructor. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's named after Kotaku. Yeah, that's, and that's the weird thing about yeah. this, is that this whole game's actually named after Kotaku. All of it. Yeah. I miss them so much. Yeah, this is a cool level. Um, I tried to do some sort of visual progression in the game. Like, I, now you notice it's, like, Daybreak. Uh, I think this level might have been called Daybreaker. It is called Daybreaker. And that's why. It's because it's Daybreak. So, from the beginning of the game, it was, like, nighttime. That's when it started. And I tried to do some sort of visual progression that looked like it's getting lighter. Um, look at that. Look at that. B boss unlock. Chad time. Chad. Chad, what does it stand for? Fuck you, that's what it stands <laughs> for. We're not going to tell you. Yeah. We'll never know. Yep. This was funny because it looked like he was maybe having sex with her in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucked up on that. Um, except for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, the blood's filling up the screen. That was supposed to be like a Hitler thing. Like, like Hitler and then like the red coming down was... Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, again, you know, I don't know, I'm a complicated person, so I didn't come across as anything. There's okay. Chad. Look at that beauty. He's a, he's a cutie. He did the boy. Chad is like um, the baby Huey of um, this game, I guess you could say. He's like the uh, the innocent, but 
he's innocent and he's cuddly and he's he's he means he means well. He just wants a hug. Yeah, he totally does. He just wants love, but he ends up you know breaking he's everything. He's too he's too big. Yeah, he's way too big. He's a Goliath. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that a thing? That's a penis. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he runs back and forth, and sometimes he jumps. It is. Oh no! no! Any of um, anybody who played Gish might know that that was actually a reference to the second boss in Gish, which is Ponchi Chops, who was killed by light as well. Um, I thought it was funny. Look at that little little turd. This is a cutscene some people like, and some people think is mean. Again. Oh yeah. Well. Oh, what are you so mean? Mm. Originally, it was different. On paper, it was it was much different. Um, the original ending for this was Chad was just going to keep screaming uncomfortably, and like it was just going to get louder and more horrible. <laughs> and instead, <laughs> instead this happened, and um, Danielle actually helped with this. She said it would be funny if he accidentally crippled him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> accidental crippling is always. Yeah. Always great. And there goes Bandit yeah. Girl. Ah, oh, fuck it. She, oh, she's out there. I, I really like the when he opens the yeah. sound of the op opening yeah. up of the umbrella and flying off is really satisfying for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I really it's, like it's that really good. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at, look at how cute he is. That's a fucking pillow. Somebody asked if that was a marshmallow. Fuck you. Why would that be a marshmallow? I don't know. Why would you give anybody a marshmallow when they're crippled? And that's a reference to One Flow of the Cuckoo's Nest. Anybody out there who watches some good movies? Hmm. It's just black and white, so it's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, what what intro is this? This was Tommy's intro suggestion. Yeah, I love this game. And uh, people all know it now. It's Lolo. Everybody knows it's Lolo now. Um, Tommy actually got me into playing Lolo. I played through Lolo after he's like, "Oh, Lolo's really good." I had a oh. cool intro. And it just so happened that the the you know the girlfriend love interest in Lolo was also pink. Mm -hmm. So it yeah, really so for that. worked out. The Salt Factory. Um, it's funny that I always say like, so the, the hospital is the haunted hospital, but it's just called the hospital. Salt yeah. Factory is called the factory. Yeah. But it's a salt factory. What? I must have just got lazy. Yeah. We all did. That's salt, kids. Yeah. That's salt. This is what a salt factory is, and, and not many people realize it that this is exactly how this works. Yeah. This is this is this. <laughs> We know what hospitals are like, and we know <laughs> what it takes for salt factory. And you have to have these giant, like, nuclear silo pillar things it that takes, pump out black It takes that smoke. kind of power to yeah. do that. You know, yeah, to evaporate that water, you have to, like, throw uranium in there, and then boils the water or something. Like, I imagine that this was probably just, there was an ocean under here at one point. Yeah. And that the only way to make salt is to just build this kind of thing over the ocean yeah and then you just you just evaporate the water and it yeah. takes a lot of power to do so it takes right there that band-aid was the first band-aid that requires you to use another character to get it that was Ogma's band-aid mm -hmm. yep and Ogma was unlocked in this chapter there's a warp zone and there was a key just fell <clears throat> this is the level I used to use to fix the corner glitch problem because I could duplicate it every single time on this level there you go kids there you go kids put that in your pipe Look at this. I love this level. Yeah. The shaft is. Hey, oh. what? what oh, that that, that, that's my sugar going. Well, it's it's still high. It's still high. You waiting for it to come down? Yeah, it's coming down. Shaft is good level. Um, it's also a penis. Yeah. <coughs> Always like this. Level. Hey, look, penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was there was a, an, a there was a I liked I liked the way the, the salt looked. Um, of course, salt doesn't stack that way, but I also thought it looked like piles of bird shit. <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of does look like. So piles I would of like pepper. Shit. I would pepper the landscape with um, yeah. with piles of bird shit because there's birds everywhere. Yeah. Like, maybe there's probably there's probably bird shit in the salt, so it's probably no worse. like fifty percent of all salt you eat is <laughs> bird shit. It works on on many different levels. Yeah. That was a that was introduction to missiles. Yeah. And uh, uh, any anybody out there know where the missiles came from? The missiles came from it. Yep. That was... Um, we used a technique called copying. Copying. Copy and paste. Yeah. Um, that's... Oh, what's this? What's this, kids? This this, this here is uh, Ode to Cannibalt. Yep. This is the Ode to Cannibalt. And the alt version of that level is my most favorite level in the entire game. It's a great one. That is yeah. that is one that was one of the one of the ones where we were both... We'd always... When we were designing the levels, I would send them to Tommy and then we would compete for best time. 
Yeah. And that was definitely one of the one of the, the top notch levels where I think it was really cool. Um, and that one's called what was the first the first one's called the Saltsman? Oh, is that one called first the one's called Box Tripper, and then the alt is called the Saltsman. Yeah. And uh, the Super Alt, which not many people know that there was an actual other full other chapter called the Expert Remix that was made, and there was an expert version of that of. Uh, of the Saltzman, which was called Kingsley, which is the name of Adam Saltzman's son. So look at that trivia. <clears throat> put that you put can, that on your onlines. Yeah, you can win Trivial Pursuit Indie Game Edition. This is my least favorite level. Okay. It, it needed to happen though. Yeah, it needed because we to never learn. used those. Yeah, we yeah. never use that. I never introduced vertical yeah. platforms, and it had to happen. So if you wait there on that platform, there, there's a. Um, uh, no, you're not gonna see it. But um, there's a warp zone that that appears, and um, I wouldn't call it a reference, but that was actually inspired by Castlevania, where you'd have to wait in a place for something to rise up out of the ground somewhere else. Yeah. This was a good one. I like this the alphabet. This is rustic, isn't it? Rust. Rustic. Oh. Isn't this one rustic? If it is, I don't I, remember. I didn't look at the screen, but if it is, it was named after. Yeah, that Russ, was Russ Frustick. Frustick from MTV. Yeah. Who said, who said who awesome. said you should totally name a level after me? Oh yeah, and he gave me uh, uh, StarCraft Two code, Ooh. and that's 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 why we named it. Yeah. You scratch our back, <laughs> <laughs> we'll scratch yours. This one's called Dig, which the alt of this I actually really like. It, it was the hardest, one of the hardest band aids to get. Um, the alt is called El Topo, and it requires you to go through this and then go back in order to get the band aid because the. Um, there's a key up on top, and uh, that was a fucking pain in the ass to test, but I really liked it because it was very satisfying when you finally got it. That's, this level is an indie game or movie. Ooh. So are we. <laughs> Look at that guy, he died on that. It was what a, a cheat, you just, you just stand behind it. Yeah, I, I made a fucking area there so you yeah. can go back over there, just stay there. He, he just wants to look for it. Yeah, he does. Oh. Look at, look at me. You like how everything gets power? I don't know if you kids notice this, but everything that's like electric or moving around, I wire, I put a wire to it somewhere. Yeah, well how else is it gonna work? Yeah, of course. The engine is written. It's, it's written that way. So it's I actually have to real power. Some people like to do everything with physics, I like to do everything with simulated electricity. This is one of my favorite intros. I like um, I like the toilet flush, and I like the pipe, clink, 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 clink. Yeah. This is funny too. Okay, again, this is actually inspired by a scene in Evil Dead 2 where there's sounds coming from all directions and there's a group of people that are following it with their eyes and I thought it always looked cool, so I wanted to put it in here. And it did. Oh, and there it is, which is actually, I think, a, mod a modified Godzilla screen. Yeah. Yeah. He also farts here. Not many people get that he, like, awkwardly farts. And, uh, and that's why it's awkward. And Beta Girl's dead. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> this was this was a recording of you yeah. beating this level. Not many people know that they're actually playing me. Yeah. I just had a, I was having a bad day that day. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> and then you slowed down a little bit. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah. Here. Just didn't feel like running. Dick. Yeah. Some days you don't feel like running. No, yeah, I'm just like whatever. I give up. This is this is my favorite <laughs> boss outro scene right oh, here because yeah. this was the first one that Danny scored yeah this was the one yeah when Danny scored this I was like holy shit this yeah is awesome the drama was awesome so these the characters connect um, so a brownie is shadow meat boy like, yeah he's 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 the the nega meat boy whatever you fucking cool kids call it oh, look at that that was just too cool I love I love the welts yeah the, the torturedness oh look he's an asshole <laughs> Oh look! Oh, it's a, it's a fucking meat boy. He's pissed. He's gonna go. He's gonna go get him. Oh no! The remote. The remote. What's what's gonna happen? That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I can love that. So, so much. yeah. <laughs> uh, not many. Not many people realize, but that's the point where meat boy dies. Yeah, meat boy dies. There. He actually dies. Dies. He really dies. Because he's in hell. He's in hell because he, of that. The sex out of wedlock with. Yeah. No. With he's, well, that and uh, he's red and not white. <laughs> That too. This this is from uh, a little game called Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. 
Did you say Gaiden or Gaiden? I say Gaiden, but I think it's wrong. I don't know what it is. I always said Gaiden. Oh, that part. Part's awesome. I really like. I, I I like this part. The squish. Like it really feels like he legitimately only gets part of him and he just <laughs> yeah, squishes out. He just squishes out and he, he like pops out. Yep. Also, not many people realize that each of the intros um, sum up what happened in the previous chapter mm -hmm. in some abstract way. So in that one, you know, it showed the fight against Dr. Phoenix that was that he lost. He lost. So that's what summed up, essentially. Um, this is how. This is when the game took takes a turn, I think. It gets, it gets a little harder. Um, mm -hmm. This was definitely a, a, a thinking chapter. There was more yeah. thinking involved and less reflex. Still, it's still on reflex. But. Oh, reflex, but yeah, you had... I love this level. This is a good one. I love the alt. Of this is this one Char? Called Char? I can't remember if it's called Char. Yeah. If it's called Char, it might be the alt that's called Char, actually. It's named after a magic card, because I'm a nerd. You're a magic nerd. Hex! Ah! Oh my god! And those kids are called buttholes. That's what they're called in code. Yep. And in real life. <laughs> Lava balls, and they come out of little. They come out of little buttholes. pooping buttholes. Yeah. They are they are Meat Boy's barrels. Yep. They are Donkey Kong barrels, which we will actually prove pretty soon here. Yeah. I always like these levels because they're orange. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of that. Look at that one, Leviathan. And also the little particle emitters in this always made the lava look like a billion times better. Oh yeah. Little sparks shooting off. Look at that. Yeah, I, I generate the little the little spit sparks that would just like embers would just pop yeah. out. Like when you have a campfire and there's little wood pieces that pop. This is a cool level too. Yeah. Um, the alt of this has a warp zone that can best be gotten by Commander Video. Which That's is, right. Which is the one that requires him to actually do it. Okay, this is Weeby. So this is the literal Donkey Kong level. Um, and it's called Weeby because of Steve Weeby from King of Kong. And the alt of this level is called Billy Boy, which is in reference to Billy Mitchell. Steve Weeby played the game. Yeah. Fun fact. Yeah. Because he was bored as shit at GDC. Yeah. And he's like, break your record. And he's like, I don't want to kill my <laughs> I don't want to do this. And we're like, oh, you should come over and check out this game. And it's, he's like, yes, <laughs> please. It's like Donkey Kong. Yeah. And he's like, oh, really? And then, like, it's one of those guys where, and he was a great, great guy. Yeah, um, awesome. Uh, one of those guys where, like, what he does is, like, he plays one game. Maybe he plays more than one game, but he plays a select few games, and he, I don't think he plays new games. So... Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that, all the way across. Um, so he definitely had a hard time with Meat Boy. I think he got past like maybe the third level. Yeah, he would. Well, he was he trying was to play trying it to, like Donkey Kong. Yeah, he was trying to like tap jump and do little moves and stuff like that. Those eyes are um, inspired by the eyes in Zelda. The laser eyes that follow you in a circle. Weren't those an accident too? Were they? Not something like that. They were. They were in. The, oh, because they were supposed to like open and shoot and close. Yeah. And then we it made just it worked so way it just, better this way. Just followed that they were always. On. I love this level. This level is really good. This is a thinking level for sure. Yeah. Um, reflex thinking, which is is pretty cool. Um, when in play testing, we noticed girls had a lot of trouble with hell. Yeah. Um, well, that that one level where the guy made the big jump over the lava with the portals that made. That made Danielle cry yeah, that did. the first time. That made Danielle cry. Yeah. She so said, I can't fucking do this. I can't, my brain doesn't work this way. And she cried. Yeah. Um, that was also because I was hitting her. <laughs> <laughs> she cried a lot. Trust me. She yeah. cried a lot more after that. <laughs> yeah. 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 She, she cries for a reason. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. The scissor move. Yeah. Love that too. Yeah, that's good. Those demons. Um... We're just we're just a like ripoff artist, or at least I am. Yeah, game. I'm not. Those demons were inspired by the gaping black maws from uh, Earthworm Jim. I really thought that was really really fucking cool. And when um, when we're working on the the Flash version, I, when I say we, I'm talking about you, Tony. Yeah. I'm talking about me and John. Yeah. I wasn't even there. No, nope, you weren't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Look at that replay. Look at that. Um, yeah, uh, the they were inspired by. I, I just I thought it was so cool, and they were from Jim. Those big fucking black mouths and teeth just opening and closing. Can I, can I tell you something? What? Never played Earthworm Jim. Really? No, nope, never played it. The aesthetics were fucking amazing in there. The design was really fucking cool. And it had it had it had its charm in its gameplay. Can you do an HD version of that for like iPhone or something? I don't know. They made a three D version once and it was horrible. It was one of those things though, like as a as a the gameplay aspect of Earthworm Jim I wasn't ever really a huge fan of, but the characters were amazing. Hmm. It was just like and I think you probably can see that in in my work. Like I, I'm sure I pull some inspiration. I know I know a lot of other prominent indie artists do, especially like Dan Pellet, he's a huge fan. Who's that? Oh, he's just someone known. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how could you not be? Because those designs were too cool. And here's uh, the last level of every of every chapter usually sums up, it's like a trial of all the things you learned. And this is quite literally those. It's just all these little pods and you're going through all the mechanics uh, that were introduced. Yeah, he totally almost got yeah, he, he, Why did you he didn't go for it, though? Uh, it's like he's trying to avoid band-aids. Yeah, I think so. All right, here's Little Horn. This this guy. I like the, the outro for this is, is epic as well. It's one of the longest ones. This is cool, too, though. So this is the big... This is the big um, Shyamalan twist. Yeah, this is this is the twist. This is the big twist. A lot of people think that's brownie, though. I hate that. That's not brownie. Yeah, people think it's brownie because it was just in the last chapter. But um, yeah, um, this is when he realizes like, oh shit! Every single time I've died in the game, um, my you know my body has gone to hell, and this is where all of his little bodies are kind of like coming together and reanimating into this giant meat golem. Yeah, this is the this is the coolest looking boss. For yeah, sure. and awesome. This is um, in mildly referencing Punch Out. Yeah. He has tells, like he does little blinks and certain facial expressions show you where he's going to hit. And then he calls down. Originally, he was going to call down active. Never. Yeah, they were they were vehicles. active chargers. Um, I don't know. Oh, we didn't put them in because they weren't made yet. Yeah, they weren't made, they and weren't made we wanted to save five. them for the rapture. Yeah. Um. Or, uh, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, and again, the, the lumps, the lumps on the head, you know. So that's an that's an old school Nintendo trope. That's a new word I've been using. That's a trope. A trope. It's a cool word. Look at that. Some of the coolest sounds in the game. The roar is yeah. just epic as hell. I really like that. Look at all those dead meat boys. Those fucking sinners. It's still raining meat boys. And here's the fucking giant nuclear missile. Nuclear. 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 Hop, hop, hop. I remember yeah. showing that boss to my parents. They thought it was amazing looking. Awesome. Look at that, the epic fucking beat Look down. at that. Oh. oh Domestic oh, oh. abuse. Oh. How many times do you think she gets beat up in this game? It's not enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, some people caught on to uh, me Boy saying, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh, fuck. And uh, that, uh, at the very end, you saw the squirrel mm -hmm. put his head back on, magically. Oh, yeah. Magically. It's just... This is a video game. I don't he know just you know, put does. tape. Put tape around it. Um, he's incinerated. Look at this rapture. Uh, that's mean. Mm. You know what he probably should have done? Mm. He should have picked up... <laughs> Should have picked up his bones and sodomized his mother. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would have been funny. Now that's comedy. Now that's that's, that's comedy. that is comedy. I'll tell you right now, I I know comedy. And, and uh, comedy is the most awkward, stupid shit you can put into Murphy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He reforms and he's fucking. Yeah. Pissed. Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> no, that's bad. The rapture, rapture kids. Remember when that happened? Yeah. Remember, remember like last year? Was it last year or a few months ago? Was it was a few year? months ago. Few it was ago? it was May twentieth. Yeah, um... And that, that idiot lied. The old man. The old man that, for some reason, people believe. I think people are just generally bored. <laughs> bored and they just want something to happen. Like, anybody that actually thought that was going to happen was just like... I think they wanted it to happen because they wanted their lives to end. Yeah. It was just an out. Yeah. But, unfortunately for us and them, they didn't die that day. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's what this chapter is named after. Um, ever since I was actually pretty little, I thought it would be really cool to um, have a final chapter in a game be the end of the world, um, like biblically, and that's kind of what this is. So at this point, if anybody hasn't caught on, Dr. Fetus has killed every single person in the world. Yeah. Except for the three that, that, that are left over. And um, of course, hell is also blown up and blown over, so... Every, um, every soul every, is gone. Every soul is gone. And there's no heaven. Yeah, there's no heaven. Kind of. Well, unless you count the end as heaven, which kind of it is. But anyway, the uh, uh, the Meat Boys, the dead Meat Boys from uh, the last chapter that you saw in the cutscenes actually are like deformed and radiated in, in this um, chapter. Look, he's getting stuck down there. Look at that. Those orbs were actually reversed. Right? Yeah. They're like black hole. Yeah. They suck you in. They can still suck you in. Yeah, people who can play with the editor yeah. have done that. Yeah, provides some interesting. That's a that's a little bit of a precursor to um, uh, a band-aid girl level. Oh yeah, the, panic attack. Yeah, that was a great level too. I love that one. I like this one too. It's not a hard level, yeah, but- Yeah, it's, it's cool. I like that you're on, on like a a fallen structure that's obviously very high up in the air. Mm -hmm. And again, progression-wise, if anybody's paying attention to the levels, that'd be hard. Oh, that's the kid right there. Look at, he's not going for it, though. That's no. the kid's warp zone right there, everybody. Go get right, it. right there. Um, the, the rapture starts out at the very top, in the dark, of, um, of the city. And, and this is the descent down into uh, the ground. And... Uh, and it gets, uh, and that's when it introduces all the dead meat boys that have, um, you know, you now covered the grounds and they're fucking rotting everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> there, there's also little, um, uh, roaches. Yeah, little, little roaches, the roaches that fly around. Fly like because that would be the only thing that would survive. Yeah. And there's, there's smoldering fires in the background. Look at that. I always wanted to see... Like, I've watched something like I Am Legend. Yeah. I always liked the cities that were all broken down and dead. Oh, of course, yeah, me too. Like, I love that. Look at the background. Yeah. I want to live in that city. I would love to live in that. I always thought if the zombie apocalypse does happen, I always thought those people were like the luckiest people ever because think of what their life is. It's so, they have to live. Yeah. Like, well, also, their life is so us. meaningful. Toys are us. Oh, yeah. That was my dream. Well, when I was little, I was thinking like, how cool would it be if everybody else was dead? You know, as soon as because I, I would go straight. I would, remember, remember the fucking Nickelodeon. Um, what do they call them? Sh shopping sprees or whatever. Oh like, yeah, just grab the cart. Yeah, they grab they the cart through. and go. Like yeah, if everybody on Earth died, but see, if Meat Boy was slightly intelligent, what he'd be doing right now is he wouldn't be going for his fucking girlfriend. No, he would go oh, to the Ferrari okay. store and then he would go to the real doll factory. <laughs> That's what, that's what I would do. Yeah. Go to the Ferrari store and pick up some real dolls and who gives a shit? Yeah. Fuck until you die. No, this is a reference. This is a Mega Man block. the most fucking annoying part of Mega Man. <laughs> the part I, that you skipped with the, yeah. with the jet scooter. I hated that. <laughs> I remember running that game and then getting stuck on that and, and getting so fucking frustrated yeah. because I couldn't do it. So I thought, hey, we'll please do it here too. Yeah. Not as No. Absolutely not. So at this point in the rapture, um, this is when we introduce maggots. And if you've noticed, like people are like, what the fuck's that white shit on the ground? That is shitloads of maggots that have been eating away all the, you know, the dead bodies hmm. that have been rotting. Um, There's tons of them. And they're, you know, still hungry. So they're eating away the earth at this point. And they're just, you know, destroying everything that remains. As they do, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. No, that's totally I what mean, happened. I mean, I'm no entomologist, but I'm pretty... Aunt, Aunt Jemima is... <laughs> pretty sure that, that that's, what, that's what's really going on. This, that was the fun one I wanted to make. I like doing that one. This guy blew right by, you don't even see that there's a big flow of maggots behind you. No. Whatever. If this guy was so cool, he would have totally bypassed. Probably done that though. He'd probably yeah. playing it so you can see the level, but I'll still call him an idiot. Foolish <laughs> fool. You jerk. You jerk. You could have totally just wall jumped off the the beginning part and gone through those. Things. Yeah. You could have been a real man. This is one of the only levels in the game that maxed out the number of objects used. Did you know that? Oh really? Yeah. 
400 full on looks in that one. Nice. Lots of wires. There's a lot of electricity because of, you know, dealing with Tommy here, mm -hmm. having to ri ri make everything no. real. Yeah, you have to do it. I, I how else am I supposed to make it work? <laughs> I have to put the wires to everything. Look at all those fucking wires. Yeah. That's why it runs slow on some people's computers. It is simulating <laughs> electricity. Yeah. Every <laughs> seems like a bad idea. It seems like that that would have been something that could have been done you more efficiently. I don't I don't regret it. No? No. Not at all. I don't regret it. <laughs> Look at these fucking shooters. Each one of those those light beams that's made up of light particles. <laughs> Just made up real light. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm slightly autistic, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> heard that from somebody. Yeah. Somebody. Um, at this point, you're in like kind of doctor. It's This was kind of alluding to Dr. Phoenix. Dr. Phoenix. Dr. Phoenix. Dr. Phoenix. You just gave away the next game. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Dr. Phoenix. Dr. Phoenix is kind of like barracks. Is like war barracks where all his shit was made. Um, and this is kind of in it. To win it. To win it. And here's Judgment, um, which, uh, so those guys, they're called Oobs. Yeah. Many people know the names of all the little characters. Those are Oobs, and Oobs is booze backwards, because originally they were going to be reverse booze. Yeah. Which turned out not to be that fun. I don't even yeah. know if we tested, but it seemed like it wasn't fun. Yeah, I thought, I think we could just thought it would be cooler if they just killed you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we just turned them into more like masks. Mario too. Yeah. Masks that got tired. Yeah. They get sleepy. They give up easily when they don't see you. Yeah, fucking. I don't. I don't I'm a, they're uh, they're white people. You think this guy cheats? Oh, I don't know. I hope he doesn't cheat. Does he cheat? Does he really legitly fight? I, I'm 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 guessing because he's awesome. All has been awesome already. That mm. he's going to really really fight him. If not, he's fired. Yeah. I no. love this boss. Yeah, these are hilarious. See, this is okay. We should tell him that. So, one of the reasons why we'll, I think we both it we'll both admit that the um, one major what is it, the one major flaw or the one thing that we could have improved on in the game were the bosses. Yeah, and we know that. And uh, you know who we blame hmm. Microsoft. Yeah, well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why the the bosses didn't have as much depth as they might they should have probably had them all. Yeah. Um, is because we only had three bosses in when we had to get the game done in like a month yeah so we scrambled around and we had to get shit done originally there were going to be dark world bosses which were cut yeah um, for time because we just simply couldn't get it done we needed to get in this thing called the game feast hmm Everybody remembers the game. Yeah, well, who doesn't? Kids had the fucking posters on yeah, the wall. Yeah, oh, yeah, there were... People were in I, the streets. I don't know one 13-year-old boy who doesn't own a Game Feast t-shirt. No, I. It's, it's almost impossible to go outside and not run into a, a child that's like, hey... It's almost you impossible see, just not to run into a child. Yeah. You back down the road. Yeah. <laughs> it is it's hard in itself, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, we had to get into uh, which which I call Fall of Arcade. The, the it is the Fall of Arcade. Fall of Arcade, and uh, we had to fucking do it, so we had to get it done. And uh, we, we pushed. It's still out. it's still good. It's adequate, um, yeah. but definitely we know where we could have improved. And oh, yeah. if we had, you know, the four months that we thought we would have instead of the one, we could have we could have definitely done something. Yeah. But um. I don't I don't really regret it. I don't regret it. I, I think it's 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 very adequate. Um, but that's just the one thing that I that kind of like. I'm like, oh, we could have we could have made that better. Yeah. That's the one the yeah. one thing the one I would have changed. At the very least, the one thing I would have changed was made dark robot bosses. Yeah, that would have been it. very cool. And and of course, you know, some of the later bosses could have. All the bosses could have just probably would have been nice yeah. to have another week with them. Yeah, it would it would have been nice to have a little more polish with the Larrys and the and the hell boss and everything. Yeah. Would have been pretty cool, but yeah. shit happens, kids. Yeah, you know what you do? You you live your life. You <laughs> live your life. Yeah. Get gay married. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Just do it. Might as well. <clears throat> there it is. There it is. Sure you can. That's yep. What that was. That was a nice one. He's got all sorts of little ending things. There's uh, 
The 100 hand slap. 100 hand slap was a good one. The Sharyukin, the spinning pile driver. Wow, a lot of them were fighting games because there was Scorpion. A lot of them were Scorpion, yeah, a lot of them were Street Fighter. Majority of them were Street Fighter. There was also, oh, there was also a, um, a Mario butt stomp. Yeah, there was the Mario 64. There was the Double Dragon Punch, which is just yeah. traditional punch. Yeah, just punch her in the stomach and then grab her. And then there was the Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah. Just float, yeah. The, the, I don't think the there were any more, were there? I don't know. Can't think. There was Falcon Punch. Oh, fucking punch! That was a good one, actually. Yeah. So yeah, we're in the we're in the end, which is the final chapter. Um, the final story chapter, I should say. Um, there is a chapter. I don't think he plays it after this. But um, yeah, this was. Uh, it's fun in games, and I know a lot of other designers do this because I know that Gaijin did this with their series. It's fun to end the game with the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. um, like a bookends. And uh, this, uh, all the base, the base mechanics in the end were all used in the first chapter of the Forest. Mm -hmm. And um, so everything was back to basics, just jumping over fucking saws again. This time they were really hard, and, and you're also I was also trying to. Stress the player out by how high up in the air you were. I thought maybe that would add something to it. And the levels were longer. The levels were much longer. Yeah. Like at least three or four times the size of the forest levels and stuff. And that I remember this, well. this chapter, we, we weren't going to do this chapter. No. We were, we were going to end it with the rapture and there was going to be like a final boss battle, which at the time I didn't even think we had determined what that was going to be. No. I think it might have... I think it... Wasn't I it think just the original be a idea? Or something? No, the original idea was going to be Doctor Fetus in a, a bigger Doctor Fetus suit. That's right. Yeah. And he was going through the city of the Rapture. Yeah. Like he was going to be through the city. city. But this was your suggestion. You you suggested Mega Man. Mega Man ending. Right. Metroid. Metroid. Yeah, because you would you would no, go but through... no Mega Man. It was the Mega Man one. The Mega Man Skull Castle. Oh, that's right. The Skull Castle. Yeah. And that's what that's what that was. The... This is the first time in the game where. Um, you reference the fact that Meat Boy dies and comes back instantly. Yeah. First time you see it in the cutscene. Which, um, look at him, he's mad. Yeah. Um, so this is the first Dr. Fetus fight. Once again, this is me. Originally yeah. this was going to be Tommy, but he was a little busy. I was a little fucking <laughs> busy. <laughs> he, was a, he was a little busy trying to do four months of work in one. Yeah. Yeah, like this is, this is an example of something we, if we would have had a little more time with this, probably could have made made the whole thing a little bit more crazy epic and so I mean it's it's pretty crazy fun. epic as it is right now but it just seems like there's not a lot of challenge getting away from him I like how easy it is to just blame Microsoft for anything <laughs> yeah. going wrong we'll just do that that's ah, their fucking yeah, fault yeah they it is their fault why not I blame them I, bl ah, I blame I all of them I blame I don't even know him I don't, some guy, I don't know his name, I hate him. I, yeah, I, he, he, he raped me. He raped me. Microsoft raped us. Yeah. But Microsoft, <laughs> <laughs> my working with Microsoft it was the equivalent of rape. And, and Steam was the halfway house that we stayed at after we got raped by Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the most awful thing we've ever said. Nah. Nah, it's totally not. Look at that little fetus. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. This was also, I remember showing this to a friend, and um, then they went, oh, wow. Like, yeah. it was the first time you re you fully realized that Dr. Fetus really is just this little fetus inside the case, and you see him as what he is inside, like, as the fetus. Yeah. And it seemed like, like oh, my God, that's crazy. Also, that little flopping around was, um, I think, I believe, inspired by a Faith No More um, video, the epic video. At the end, there's a fish. And it's just flopping around outside, out of the water and like gasping for air. Yeah. And that's kind of where that came from. See, this was this was the Metroid escape. Yeah, this was the everything escape. was blowing up. Yeah. And how cool is it? You got you got Bandit Girl on your back. Yeah. And people also say you, the character is much heavier. Yeah, it's not. It's a, it's, <laughs> it, it's the illusion of oh, those walls are slippery. Yeah, those walls are slippery because there's blood on them now. We should have been dicks and made it. That made, would be horrible. Like, super heavy. Like, yeah, that's what we do. We change the yeah. controls you're you used to. You've gotten used to the, this game the whole time. <laughs> just fuck you fuck over. You. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This what? guy. This guy's not going to do it. But there's a there's a cheat here. 
Um, if you go on to the left of that pillar and jump above the saw, it ends the game. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to because you, you hit the little hitbox that says, yeah. oh, you win. And I, I left I left that in because for testing because I didn't. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, by, by this time, my like fucking heart rate was up high. And <laughs> I yeah, was we're... like panicking like, how am I going to make it? I need to fucking finish testing. <laughs> so fuck it. Now here's the, the cool fucking game here. Yeah. Um, but I love making. Yeah, this, this was awesome. Um, and he's, oh wait, he's not dead. No. Look at that, who comes in, but it's Brownie. Uh, because he saved him. Yeah. He saved him. He's, he's pulling a whole Metal Gear Gray Fox thing. Lifting, lifting Metal Gear's foot. But it's more of a reference to um, Goonies. Goonies? Yeah, in Goonies, at the end of Goonies, um, yeah. uh, Sloth lifts the boulder up with his back and then like pushes him under and then there's that whole like, you know, exchange like, oh, mm -hmm. with us. Yeah. I don't think. And yeah. this was um, the, Fight the Fight Club. Yeah. Ending. They need the little pixie song that Danny parody in the yeah. background. Oh, I remember oh my god! Ah! Oh no! Look at that! Fucking, she's getting killed. And then, oh. and then the the Mario World esque credits. Oh yeah, these credits are awesome. Look at us. Look at you dancing. I'm dancing. Yeah. Good. I just hop. Yeah. I'm fat. It's hard for me to really dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So that my guy. mom thought this. My mom thought that was that was sad. Oh. Yeah. Who are these people? Oh yeah, Wiggly. Yeah. Uh, Wiggly, oh yeah. Wiggly did Super the voice. Super Meat Boy. Look okay. at that plastic surgery. He's fine. He's See, fine. everything works out. Everything in. works out. Everything's fucking great. Right. Yeah. Who are all these people? Tom Fulp. He's who, cool. Who's Jeff Roberts. Blink works. Who's John Blow? Ugh. I don't know who that is. Who's Jamie Repness? <laughs> Rip Brownie. Look. Oh he's, like, oh. oh, he's dead. I always envisioned that that was that was uh, one of these pieces toilet actually. In his thing. Four of these people are good. Four of those people are good. Yeah. Kevin was one of those people. Yeah, we love Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. We love Paul. Paul's good. Um, I don't. And then the other two we love. Two of these people. I don't know those people. Oh, these are local. I these people made my life hell because they didn't know. Ugh, I didn't want to talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> these these guys also made my life hell, but in a different way. I don't know these people. These are all the testers, the the VMC testers. You know what's funny? All mm -hmm. of the Xbox credits are in the PC version because I don't give a shit <laughs> about yeah, remaking yeah. credits. Fuck it. Look at a little spot. I missed that little spot. Yeah. Better. Yeah. All right. Um, the why it zoomed in? It zoomed in. It zooms into Band Aid Girl's stomach for a reason at the end of that, but you don't know why until you beat the full game. Yeah. Which is um, not going to happen in this playthrough, of course, no. because. Look at that. Unlock yeah. Cotton, Cotton Alley. Alley. I don't think he does Cotton Alley. No, he doesn't do Cotton Alley. And I think we need to conclude this. Um, thank you um, to the guy, Man vs. Game, for doing this for us. And thanks for... <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's, it's, it's in black it. now. We'll, we'll put something. We'll There's put some filler there. here. Just put a picture of us. We'll, we'll put pictures and maybe like like uh, monkeys peeing or something. <laughs> We'll do, we'll do something we'll, like that. We'll fill it with something. Yeah, thanks to that hey, guy. Hey, we'll announce, we'll announce the next game. Okay. Oh, we won't. <laughs> Maybe, okay, here, here's something. Huh. Throughout this entire game, or this entire commentary, the title of the game was made through various letters in the words that yeah, we said. <laughs> it's true. Figure it out. Yeah. Oh, Z, Q. There. Now. All of the letters of the alphabet were contained in this commentary. I think I, yeah, yep. Wow, dude, I can't believe you gave it away. The next game is called Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for Th connect. Thank, thank you for. Uh, let's. We, we should probably cut to our uh, chin. Yeah, we're chin. gonna cut to the chin men. Cut to the chin men. Let them conclude this. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, well, that was like a, how long was that? How long, the, the commentary? Yeah, how long did we do that for? That seemed like a long time. In like days. I see you lost your hat. I did. The, the excitement. Knocked right off? Yeah. You know, while you, while you weren't looking, I ordered a new hat on Amazon.com. Really? Yeah, you want to see it? Yes, I do. Bigger than yours.
like hmm. like everything on me. <laughs> okay. Well, Is that cool with you or? Uh, I mean, I guess I have to live with it. You know, I don't have a choice. I go, there's a saying, I go big, is what it is. Go big or go Texas. Whatever. Something about, this is, everything's, everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah. I've been to Texas. How was it? Everything was the same size. So do you think anybody's even watching at this point? Because I don't, I sincerely doubt that many people actually watched you know, an hour of somebody playing a video game and two idiots talking about it. Um, I'm sure what people did is just fast forward to the end to yeah. see if there was uh, any any sort of ending. Nudity. Yeah, they looked nudity. for the boobs. I like I like nudity. Mm. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> <laughs> I like boobs. So, at some point, yeah, um, we probably addressed this in the commentary, but we're, I think we're pretty grateful for all the fans and the people that would actually would watch an hour of, of us talking about nothing. Yes. And uh, I think this is a, a great way for us to to celebrate the year anniversary. It's, uh, it's been a great year. And we have great fans. Everything is great. I hope everybody appreciates this. Because if not, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, my hat! <laughs> my hat! What happened to your hat? It fell off. Serve you right. I don't need it. <laughs> don't throw shit at me. <laughs> this is going downhill. Let's wrap it up. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> there was, hey, shut it off. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, I'm getting a call. <laughs> Please. One sec. One sec. Wait, let me get it. Where's, the, where's my phone? <laughs> oh, there it is. Where's my phone? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? There's nobody on the other line. Hello? Oh, oh. Mom? Yes, Edmund. What are you doing? I... I'm busy doing commentary. I have to come over. Oh, why? I love you. <laughs> you, it's we, this is weird. You're, I'm proud. Well, that's cool. I, <laughs> if you want to, you can. It's fine. I'm, I'm already here. Oh, god damn it, Edmund! <laughs> Trough lights. <laughs> I know you're in there. No, oh, oh, I, I gotta move the phone away from my face. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, she, she found out about us. <laughs> I know where you live. What the fuck's happening here? I don't know. <laughs> it's over. It's the end. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs>